Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest one of all? There's none so fair as you, my queen. I know that I am right. I knew it. I'll marry again. Perhaps young Prince Maximilian of the neighboring kingdom. Except for just one other girl. The one they call Snow White. Snow White! Is there something you wish, stepmother? Yes, Snow White. There is. <laughs> Reichen Bass present Festival of Family Classics. The Grimm Brothers' enchanting fairy tale, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So bring on the whole family. Awake, God! How dare you sleep on duty? Please, my queen, I just dozed for a second. There may be a way to save your worthless hide. Uh, anything, your highness. By serving me. My palace has been invaded by a plague <gasps> called Snow White. Your lovely stepdaughter? A plague? The little innocent has been plotting to have me killed so she can take her late father's throne away from me. That's treason! For which the penalty is death. I want you to take her into the woods and do away with her. Me? Snow White? Or else I'll have someone do away with you. And just to make certain you perform the deed, my loyal jester will accompany you and repeat whatever he sees to me. Whatever he sees to me. What are you doing? I promised your stepmother I'd... Unless you run away and promise never to come back to the palace. Oh, thank you. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Neither will I. I just forgot. And then, what did you do? Just as you ordered. He speaks the truth, your highness. Ah, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest one of all? <laughs> I've asked around the kingdom. I've made a thorough check. The fairest one is you, my queen. Your winner, by a neck. At last! I'm the fairest in the land. Tomorrow morning I shall pay a visit to young Prince Maximilian to talk about marriage. Oh. <laughs> oh, you'd better visit the beauty parlor first. <laughs> I am. Hey, how do you know my name? Your name? Is why. Why? The wise old owl. And do you know why I'm why? Because I get to the meaning of things. I ask why, not just who, like your standard owl. Say, what's a nice kid like you doing in the woods like this? I... I'm lost. <laughs> 
that's too bad. But don't fret. There's a nice little house just over the hill. How do we get there? Uh, follow the yellow brick toad. <laughs> It's adorable, like a doll's house. Uh, come this way. Why, it's precious. Everything's so tiny. Including the portions. Why, this is barely enough to feed a bird. You can say that again. Why, look, seven tiny little beds. <laughs> Perfect for a short nap. Okay. Oh, oh, All right, everybody up. We have to get home and eat. Clean the house. Get to bed. Get up. Take out the garbage. Get back to work. Let's go. Uh, what's the big hurry to get home if all we're going to do when we get there is work? Who left the light on? Uh, uh, not me. Not me. Not me. Hey, somebody ate my dinner. Um, uh, mine, too. <laughs> Maybe Goldilocks has been around again. <laughs> Listen, somebody's upstairs. Hold it! Somebody's gotta go see who's up there. Who'll volunteer? My back is killing me. I can't climb stairs. Give me that club, and that fire poker, and that pickaxe. Here. Now get up there. I can't. I don't believe in violence. I believe in love. Okay, gang, come on up. Who's in there? Two of the biggest eyes I ever saw. Who are you? Never mind. You are who? I am Hawaii. And she is asleep. Oh! You're beautiful. I have a question. You always have a question. Who is she? A D.I.D. D.I.D.? Damsel in distress, dummy. You ate my dinner. Oh, dear. I was so hungry and frightened. Frightened? frightened? When my stepmother tried to have me done away with. Your very own stepmother told somebody to... Oh. I'm afraid she doesn't want me around anymore. Why not? Well... On the day I was born, my beautiful mother died. And my father, who was a king, had absolutely no time to bring up a little girl all by himself. So... to end up here. Uh, uh, pardon us a moment. <clears throat> On behalf of my fellow dwarves... Especially those of us who don't like to do housework. And uh, those of us who are... Uh, <laughs> accident prone. And those of us who believe in love. And those of us who like to have meals well cooked and on time. I have a question. <laughs> Not now. We hereby wish to extend to you our official invitation to stay and live with us. You dear, sweet little darlings. You'll have to cook. And clean. And give us lots of hugs and kisses and tuck us into bed at night. Well? well I humbly accept. Have a good day. We will. Yes. Don't forget to take out the garbage. Goodbye. Bye, Miss White. Bye-bye. Beware a stranger, Snow White. Your stepmother will be out hunting for you. If we catch her here, she'll get her just desserts. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest one of all now? That doesn't rhyme. Uh, you're the fairest, you, my queen, on this morning bright. You're the fairest in the land. Ah. Except for uh, Snow White. Snow White, you lie. No reflection on you. 
You're the fairest in the castle, but she's the fairest in the forest. In the forest? Alive? In the green, green glen, in the house of the seven little men. Snow White. Alive. The guard tricked me, eh? All right. I'll take care of Snow White myself. into you. Scat! Oh, my poor old heart. Come with me, you dear lady. I'm so sorry. Oh, you are a kind child to help a poor old lady. So I want to give you a little token of appreciation. It's not necessary. I want you to have this lovely silk sash. It's beautiful. Let me show you how it's to be worn, child. Oh, I've never had one before. <coughs> oh, too tight. It's how they're wearing them, my dear. No, who's the fairest one of all? <laughs> Why? What are you doing here? Quick! Emergency! A Snow White! Come on, let's go! What's this? A lock! Break the lock with your pickaxe! I... I missed! Dear, that old lady was my stepmother in disguise. Uh, do you think I'd make horrid noises at just any old lady in the woods? I hope you finally got the message. Beware of old ladies bearing gifts. Mirror, mirror. <laughs> Who's the fairest one of all? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> the fairest one of all, my queen. I'm sorry, it's not you. The one who's fairest in the land is still... you know who. Ah, oh, Snow White will die this time. Make no mistake about that. Ah, here it is. Evil spells. Spells in very poor taste. All guaranteed prince proof. To cast a very bad taste spell, begin with a very good taste, such as a piece of cake or a nice shiny red apple. Hmm, a nice apple. Come one, come all to the traveling fair! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. A circus, a circus, let's go. No! I don't recall a circus wagon in this part of the forest before. Well, it's no skin off my feathers, her uh, beak, um, her uh, nose. <laughs> Dance and be happy, children, and when you're all danced out, we'll bob for apples. I love to bob for apples. <laughs> Me too. Bah, at your age, all of you. Bobbing for apples is for every age. The little lady's right, Grandpa. Grandpa? Boy, I bobbed for apples before you were born, Sonny, and I'll show all of you how to bob. Hooray! I have a question. What now? Isn't it supposed to be ladies first? He's right. Come up to the front of the line, my little beauty. Okay, little lady, are you ready? Ready? <laughs> Come on, Snow White. Oh, you almost got it. <laughs> oh, it keeps jumping away. We <laughs> <laughs> get it, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Yes, you do, my darling. Oh, I love this. Oh, what, oh, what's, what's happening, happening to Snow White? White? A beautiful fair, but a fair is beauty of all. <laughs> now, dear mirror on the wall, who's the fairest <laughs> one of all? It wasn't you. What? Until with one bite, the apple put an end to poor Snow White. Ah, ah. 
Snow White, daughter of a king. She's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. She's our beloved Snow White, Prince. You are a prince. Maybe she's under a spell. Maybe you can break it. I was a prince, Prince Maximilian. But I am a prince no longer since my father died. I am King Maximilian. Is she dead? It would appear so, Your Highness. There's still the glow of life in her cheeks. If only there was some way to bring her back to life. I have a mirror here. If there is even one breath of life still in her, the mirror will show it. Do you see anything? What does it show? Absolutely nothing. Wait! Wait! There is something. A mist, a fog, a... a face. Yes. It took a lot of doing, but I made it here. Is Snow White dead, Mirror? Well, yes. I was afraid of that. And no. 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 Not exactly. You see, the stepmother managed to cast a pretty good spell on Snow White. Good, but not great. It can be broken. I watched her read from the book, and she made the mistake of leaving it open to the part where it tells how to break the spell. What, what, what is it? What is it? What is it? Quickly. A king has to repeat the last word she was thinking before she bit into the apple. The very last word. Did anybody hear it? Does anybody remember? Think hard. I know. We'll just repeat every word we can think of. Great. Hey, let's make that perfect. Let's vote. Nice try, except for one thing. You only get one chance. One chance? Just one. If the king whispers more than one word, she's gone forever. What could it be? We've got to use common sense. Let's take a vote. Chances are, whatever she was thinking about, we were thinking about too. This calls for a huddle. Oh dear, oh dear. What was the last thing she was thinking about? Love. 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 <laughs> So good. Snow White. Hooray! <laughs> who are you? Someone who thinks you are very beautiful. I always vowed I'd marry the fairest in the land, and you're the one. Oh, hold on there, now just a minute. Oh, I'm sorry first. But I can't leave my seven little friends. I don't know what to say. Say you'll marry me and become my queen, and we'll rule over the happiest kingdom in all the world. It sounds very romantic, but they're really my guardians. You have to ask their permission. Sir, may I have Snow White's hand in marriage? If you promise to love and honor her till death do you part. I promise. Then I give my consent. Sir, may I have Snow White's hand in marriage? <laughs> oh, 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 sure, providing you can hold it better than you held mine. <laughs> I'd like to marry Snow White. Right. I was hoping she'd choose me. Sir? I have a question. Yes? Can I come to the wedding? Oh, of course. Well? <laughs> what's your decision? I don't know where we're ever going to find another girl to come all the way into the woods every day to cook and clean, but, well, okay. And you? Will you invite us to dinner every weekend? Any time. Uh, just a moment. I have not been consulted. Please, sir, may I marry Snow White? <coughs> what are your financial prospects, young fellow? I have my own kingdom. Is it uh, paid for? Yes. Then I hereby pronounce you a king and a fiancé. is invited to our wedding, including the animals. I wear a beautiful white wedding gown. And something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. You can wear me. I never felt so blue in my life. 
<laughs> hey, easy on the feathers. I molt under pressure. <laughs> mirror, mirror hanging there. Am I not the world's most fair? <laughs> You're certainly among the winners. What? You have lovely hair. I'll smash you into a thousand pieces. I demand the truth. You want the truth, my queen? All right. There's no one fairer than Snow White. Snow White? Yes. There's news I can no longer hide. Tomorrow, she'll become a bride. Snow White must die. And this time, I shall depend only on myself. And now, according to royal custom, the royal couple will cut the wedding cake. The first piece of cake goes to the fairest woman in the land. And once she partakes of its sweetness, she becomes my lawfully wedded wife. No! No! You see? I was right all along. About what? I uh, said she'd get her just desserts. <laughs> <laughs> 